y'all. It's your girl Chess. Welcome to my channel if you're new, then welcome. Today's video I will be giving y'all 40 plus video ideas. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on all social media. They will all be linked down below and across the screen at my life as chess. Without further ado, enough chitty chat. Let's get to the video. Focus. Alright, y'all. So Let's go ahead and get right into it. Hold on, let me open my phone. All right, the first idea is 10 things that I wish I knew before high school. I feel like that video is gonna be really helpful for the freshmen who are coming into high school. I feel like those, that video will be very important for them, especially for those who start school later in the year in different states, different places. Even though in my school district, we started in August. But some people start in late September, mid-September. So, I did two. This goes along with the first video, freshman advice. Freshman advice. You can help these incoming freshmen feel like they're prepared. Their experience might be different from yours, but what, they can, what you could give them is a basic overview of how high school will be for them. All right, video three. A lookbook, a fall lookbook. It is fall. Everybody wants to some cute outfits for fall, to go to the pumpkin patch and all that. So definitely, that would be a good video. The next one, y'all, is a morning routine. Morning routines, everyone is so nosy these days. They want to see, like, girl, what time do you wake up? What do you do when you wake up? Those videos are very popular. If you go on YouTube and just scroll, 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 you'll just see a bunch of those videos. The next one, y'all, is a night routine. Night routine videos are absolutely amazing. They're great. People want to see how you wind down and go to sleep for the day. Next one is a get ready with me video. Get ready with me. Like, get ready with me to go film. Get ready with me to go out and eat. Get ready with me to go on date my boyfriend. Those videos are very, very important. Next video I do is Sunday Resets. Sunday resets. If y'all do not know what Sunday resets are, basically it's a video where on Sunday, you know, you do your laundry, you reset and get prepared for the coming up week. So I've seen a lot of those. Those actually got very popular lately. A day in a life video. Day in life videos get so many views. People want to know how your day is. Where do you go? What do you do? Day in life content career creator. Do you go straight to filming? Like stuff like that. People want to know. Next one is, how do I edit my videos? How I edit my videos is so important. Everybody want to know how you edit your videos, all that. It's, people just want to know. You might have an idea that someone might like. You might use it and give you credit for it. Just good. Ranking your favorite TV shows. Everybody wants to know what your favorite TV show is. They want new stuff to recommend for them to watch because off, the, off your ranking video, they could make them want to go watch the TV show. To piggyback off of the rating my favorite TV show part, rating your favorite TV show characters or movie characters. That's a really good video. A get to know me tag. A get to know me tag. Let me talk about get to know me tag. I actually just uploaded a get to know me tag. Shameless self promo. But I want your, your subscribers, you and I, as a YouTube myself, want subscribers to get to know you, to get to know who you are. Who you're with, who you date, what school you go to, are you single, take it, all that stuff. All that good stuff. People want to know who you are and who they are watching, which I think is a good video. Next one is another one that's very similar to this. It's 20 facts about me. Tell 20 facts about you. Just start naming a bunch of facts about yourself. Just tell them a bunch of things about yourself. And I promise people are going to feel connected to you and they want to subscribe more. Y'all, I can't talk to them. Unpopular opinion videos. Unpopular opinion videos are so good because the fact is you can see y'all can kind of it start it sparks a conversation. Let's be honest, it sparks a conversation in people. Let's say, oh, I don't like this certain restaurant. Some people are gonna debate in the, in the comments about why that restaurant's good or why that restaurant's bad, and boom, that's engagement. People are commenting, people are talking. That is good for your channel. Next one is how to record on your phone. A lot of people might only use this phone, use their phone. I started off with my phone too. So 
how to record on your phone. Teach people the settings to use in your setup and show them the quality to let them know that filming on your phone is not bad. A camera is good too. The next one is how to start a YouTube channel. For those, let's say like me who's been on been around YouTube for a while, um, I private all my old videos to get a fresh start so I am the best person to give these advice for these videos because I've been on YouTube for so long. I've been on YouTube for three years y'all. So I know the tips and tricks. Also let me know if y'all want to see that video from me. What I eat in a day. Like what do you eat? Like say it don't matter if it's healthy or unhealthy. Just show people what you eat. People are curious. Like do you eat the same as them? Do you eat different from them? They want to know. Meet my video. Like meet my dog. Meet my boyfriend. Meet my husband. Meet my wife. Girlfriend. All that. People would love to see that. So they want to know like say your man always just really pops in the very girl really pops in the video they want to see who this person is what kind of person this is and if and a lot of your subscribers really care about you they want to know if you're with a good person or not next one trying blank for a week like trying uh, say you want to try oh I remember a trend on YouTube for a while where they were trying different food colors like only red food only green foods or trying different restaurants and stuff like that. I feel like those type of videos really get people engaged and really want to watch the videos because they might want to try that y'all. The next one is at home photo shoots. Let's say you know you're broke and you just want to do like a little cute little photo shoot at home. I'm going to tell y'all how y'all can save so much money and create a little personal setup backdrop on like a blank part of your wall. So y'all Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree got the goods for the good good price. You can get one of those little cheap tablecloths and put like some of them up to like a certain area. You get some balloons and you can make a cute little backdrop. And you get a box cake and make cake like if you want to do a birthday backdrop or um, a gender reveal. You can do all the cute little photos for like less than like ten bucks, y'all. You just gotta know what to buy and know what not to buy. Always make a list before you go on Dollar Tree because you end up spilling hella money. So yeah, that is the best way to do that. That's actually very popular videos. Those are really popular. I've been seeing those. They were best space, space. Jesus, y'all, I can't talk. They were very popular during quarantine. Next one is how I edit my photos. How I edit my photos. Everyone wants to know what filters you use. Do you edit your photos? If you do or do not. If you do my edits, big edits. They want to see those type of videos from you. Like, don't gatekeep y'all. Everybody's trying to make your, their photos look amazing like yours with the beautiful color themes like the blues themes, the beach themes, yellow, the greens. They want to know how you do it because they want their photos to look like yours. And that's good that people want to look, want your, their stuff to look like yours. Because I feel like that's actually a big confident, confident, y'all I cannot talk. Y'all know I cannot talk. I never can talk in a video. It's a big compliment. Gotta talk slow. Because if someone wants to copy, that means they like something that you're doing. So that's actually pretty good. But sometimes copying can get annoying. Especially when it comes to like work. It gets annoying. But when it comes to like editing photos, I don't think it's too annoying. But that's just my personal opinion. Next one. The next thing is reacting to my followers. Like followers react to me. Or like your followers choose your day. Anything with like your followers being interactive with your topics and the things you do I promise you people are gonna vote so you do Instagram polls that you're gonna do for a YouTube video post the polls show the results people want to see like you actually do these things because it's all about interacting show them that you want them there show you them that you want them to be your subscribers show them that you're not just doing this for the money which comes slow by the way Alright, y'all. Tutorials and how to's. How to do your makeup, how to set up a camera, how to do a wig, how to just a bunch of how to videos are absolutely amazing. I watch a lot of how to videos. You can just type in the search box like how to fix your synthetic wig, how to install something. Doing a how to video is going to really help people because they want, they need help. People go on YouTube not only for entertainment but to get useful information on how to do things that they didn't know how to do before. And your tutorials can be so helpful. 
So next video idea is is product reviews. Review a product. I also reviewed my camera, y'all. So shameless promo again. Post videos of you reviewing stuff like different gadgets that you buy or different things you buy. Do reviews. They're very. Everyone wants to, wants to see that. Vlogs only. Oh vlogs are so simple, y'all. People make vlogs harder than what it actually is, but those are perfectionists like I like my, I am. Vlog, just vlog your day, vlog you. Your life might be boring, but just vlog everything you do. Somebody's going to be interested, so why not? Travel videos. Let's say for, let's say you just decided to go out of town. Like, you don't even go out of town. Let's say you live in, like, Georgia. You don't live in the Atlanta area. Say you live an hour from Atlanta. That's a travel vlog. Travel everything that you do while you're in Atlanta. Or travel everything you go to Miami. Like, just little trips like that. Post clips. People will love it. Cooking and recipes. Like cooking and recipe videos are actually really popular too. People don't know how to cook, y'all. People these days do not know how to cook. And they didn't they didn't have that family dynamic for someone to teach them how to cook. So you doing to tutorials on YouTube of like cooking and recipe videos for them is going to help them tremendously. Especially if they want to just whip some up for somebody they love. Next one is is gaming videos. Gaming videos. Personally, I want to start doing this, but I have to have the right computer for it. Gaming videos are so important. Everyone loves to watch someone play a playthrough of a new game. Say there's a new game or just a game that is popular and everyone just likes it anyway. Make a playthrough. Do Sims 4 videos and different things. Do cheat code things. People want to see those type of videos. There is a community for everybody, and gaming is a community too. Next one is DIYs and craft videos. Again, people don't know how to do a lot of things. They can learn how to sew, they can make learn how to sew, do hair, all that from DIY videos. DIY. DIY how to make a DIY outfit, something like that. People want to see those type of things on your channel. People want to see everything. Like I said, it's a wide variety of different type of people in this world. So they should all like something that you post. Okay. Story time or personal stories. Tell people like experience, like some experience about like if you got your wisdom to that. Talk about how that went. Or if you're into some paranormal stuff. If you believe in that world. Or just talk about your experience with anything. Christian, YouTuber, anything. Just your experience with life will help. Story times, like I said before, I didn't mention it. Story times, a lot of different videos are very, very popular. Challenges and reaction videos. Challenges. I wouldn't personally do challenges because it's not my style of content. But challenges are very popular too. Don't know what challenge is popular, so don't ask me. You can always look it up. Reaction videos. Reaction videos like a lot of people are reacting to a lot of new the newer songs and like trying to get the message behind the song stuff like that. <sighs> that can be me. I could do it, but let me be honest. That can't be me. I don't have I don't have the energy for that. I really don't. Beauty and fashion. If y'all like do y'all like makeup or you like hair? I consider makeup, hair, and skin beauty. Or like, say you learn how to do acrylics, show them that you know how to do acrylics. Just stuff like that. Let's go with the fashion part of this. Fashion, how do you create your clothes? That uh, also falls under fashion, I'm sure also falls under how too. Hauls, all that good stuff will rack in the views. Fitness and health, let's say you're on a weight loss journey, which I'm, I'm going to go on soon. A weight loss journey. Film it. Film when you go to the gym. Film when you go to different places. Ben, would you like to tell the camera what's so funny? Would you like to tell the camera what's so funny? He's over here laughing at me when I said something about weight loss. <laughs> He's laughing at me, y'all. I'm not cutting this out. He's laughing at me. Oh my gosh, shut up, Ren. You know him, y'all. He always talking about me. Anyway, anyway, you going to gym, gym vlogs, stuff like that is really popular. People are trying to get fit for the next summer. 
interviews, interview people, interview them, ask them questions, ask them something they've never told their parents before. Interviews are very popular. Go out there. It helps you also work on your people skills and your public speaking skills. Skills. I just can't never talk. But yeah, that's not for me. I am too socially awkward for that. I might have all this energy on camera, but in real life, <clears throat> to all. Behind the scenes, like setting up your camera, setting up anything, if you do photo shoots and all that, behind the scenes really gets people to understand what do you do all day? Q&As. Q&As. People ask you questions to get answers. It's basically like giving value tag, but it's a little different because people could get a little more personal with the questions. You can choose if you want to answer them or not. Top 10 lists, like top 10 favorite movies, top 10 favorite food places, top 10 favorite cameras, top 10 anything people are going to want to see. They want to see your recommendations. Book and movie reviews. Have you seen a new book? Or you read a new book or something that's new to you or a movie? Review it. Let people know what you think. Also, let me know if you want me to do a movie review. I'm thinking about doing that too. Music covers are originals. Music. People love music. If that's something you're into and not something you feel comfortable doing, do it. That's very popular. It's kind of saturated, but it's not too saturated. You just have your own unique personality. Parody and comedies. Everybody loves to laugh. Do a parody of a song. Do a parody of anything. Do a parody. Just do it. Have fun. Who cares what other people think? Have fun. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope that these video ideas really helped y'all. Please remember to have fun and be yourself because you are going to be amazing. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media. They're always across the screen and down below. Without further ado, bye y'all.